Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can remove images that are no longer needed on your website, or you might not be aware that they are taking space on your website and they're not being used. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First thing that you want to do is head over to your media. Once you're in your media library on your website, the next thing that you want to do is head over to the options right over here, all media items, and you want to filter it by unattached. Now here, you'll be able to see all the images that are not being used on your website. And what you want to do is click the bulk select and then just select all the images. I'm going to select the first one and then I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and then I'm going to choose all the images. I'm going to scroll to the top and then just delete permanently and that would delete all the images that I don't or no longer need on my website. Now, a quick note here is that before you press the delete permanently button on your website is that I would really encourage you to check all the images and make sure that you really don't need those images because sometimes we're going to be deleting these images from your your desktop or from your mobile phone. So just make sure that you really don't need them or in case you need them, you have them at your disposal somewhere where you know where to find them. After you've done that and you're sure you know where to find those images in case you need them, if you don't want them on your website, just hit the delete permanently button and then you're good to go. In my case, it is a very somewhat small website, so I don't have that many images, but make sure that if you have more images, you click the load more and then you'll be able to see more images on your website. And then you will follow the same process. Just go over all the images that you don't need, select them, and then just press the delete permanently button. And that's it for this video. I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, I'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any video that I post on WordPress, Elementor, or WooCommerce. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.